Welcome everybody to the Hibiscus Sports Complex as the Gladstone Port City Power visit the Southwest Metro Pirates in your QBL Game of the Week presented to you by Nothing But Net Media and Live Sport Australia. I'm John Guarna and I'm joined by former Pirate player, coach, general manager, and all-around Pirate himself, Dave Derwin. I Dave, I was hoping for all-around good guy. Uh, that goes without saying. Okay, thanks. Your Johnny. reputation precedes you, Dave. Good, good. Should be a great matchup tonight. Yeah. You look at the teams. Both teams kind of come into tonight going in different directions. Pirates probably trending downwards, while Gladstone comes in on a two-game winning streak, full of confidence. Pirates lost that tough one it wasn't really a tough one it was a close game for about a half last week against townsville yeah they're looking to rebound you see they th do you see these teams as trending in opposite directions well it's an interesting point i actually think that the pirates are trending the up and down in the same game so i think we've we've covered them uh, three times this year and uh you don't know what you're going to get between each quarter so um they played some good basketball this year and they played some pretty Pretty unattractive basketball still. Uh, Coach Down is away at the moment. So uh, uh, Coach Tate's rolling with the boys. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how they respond to him. Um, the Power had a good uh, good win um, the other night. And so I think they're going to be feeling confident. They looked really sharp in the warm-up, so I was really ha really impressed with their communication, good energy. So we'll see if that translates into the, the opening tip. Yeah, I spoke to Coach Walmsley about that one last night. He said that they played really well. He was really happy with the way that they played. They just didn't finish as well. Um, he, he said it's new for his team to come out and, and have such a big lead uh, and have to do, protect that lead pretty much from start to finish. So a good experience for his team being able to tough out a 115-110 win. Defense has not been their strong suit. They're certainly a high-scoring team, Gladstone. Well, Pirates, you probably could say the complete opposite. So it's really a contrast in styles. What do you expect to see this uh, this evening? Yeah, well, I think, uh, uh, again, the, the Pirates are, at, at the moment, statistically, you know, they're four and three. They're sitting in eighth. Um, but, but statistically, they're not going great. Uh, offensive rebounding 12th, defensive rebounding ninth, assists 10th, turnovers uh, 12th in the league. So they're kind of in the, towards that back end uh, of the group at the moment. Um, so the only way is up for them, really. Uh, and again, Gladstone aren't far behind them. I know that I know they're only two and five, but statistically, they're not that much different to the Pirates. So it'll be an interesting uh, game. And again, Walker and Young and Hancock all had good good games last night. Plenty of buckets between them. Um, I think it'll be really interesting because the, the Pirates probably copped a good punch in the mouth against the Heat last week, and uh, they need to respond. Um, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about some of my uh, conversations with uh, assistant coach Catlin this today. And we, we talked a little bit about flow and the Pirate season to date. And, and we'll talk a little bit about, more about that tonight. But uh, the big question is, uh, who's BA going to bet on? Which son? Oh, you Tyler. do it. <laughs> <laughs> the visiting Tyler. I think he's going to bet on whoever wins. Or Jake. I don't know. I think know. he's going to bet on whoever wins. I saw a purple and white shirt on. All right. Well, he's covering all his bases then. Tyler Allen and uh, Jake Allen squaring off yet again. Jump ball is won by the Pirates. Pirates have Vines, Barristow, Onwis, Harrison, and Allen. Gladstone answers with Riak. Hancock. Musters, who contests the Harrison jump shot. You've got uh, Young as well. And I know I'm missing somebody. Riak. I said react, didn't I? Yeah, you did. All right. Well, Young hits the first bucket of the game for Gladstone. So you got Hancock, Young, React, Musters, and Allen. Vines getting the start tonight. Harrison going inside for Barristow. A lot of contact. It's missed. Young pulls down the board. I was watching uh, Hancock in particular in the warm-ups. Nice looking Jimmy, really smooth. He was a former uh, NBL development player. I yeah. think he was with U Melbourne United. He's definitely looking to get back into the, the league. Sir Shercock, <laughs> I said it, Shercock react, hit the three. So he's a 5-0 lead here for Gladstone early. As Vines answers with his own three. Tyler Allen has it tipped out of bounds. Stripped from behind. I uh, 
I played a little bit of hoops with Jakey in the last couple of years, and it's just the body movements are uncanny. It's quite interesting to watch the two brothers with their uh, movement and, and play and style, etc. React hits a long two on the other end. He's an interesting player as well. Not really a four man, but quite long. Not really a five, I should say. Yeah. Harrison finds on with inside, finishes through the contact. It's a good look from Harrison. I think that's one area that people don't recognize on Harrison. He's a he's a pretty good passer for yeah. a big man. Yeah, he is. And uh, you know, again, uh, the the you know these four or five guys really do the the majority of the work for the power. Don't get a huge amount of production from their bench. I feel like I've said that about every team. Uh, this season, other other than the Pirates, who are one of the teams who, you know, legitimately plays eight or nine guys. Muster strips it from Barristow. It's going to stay with Southwest. You can see right away, Gladstone really wants to push pace. Harrison shuffled his feet, gets called for the travel. React kicks ahead for Hancock. Now inside for Musters. Nice pass for React, who can't finish. Gets his own miss, though. And he's fouled. Yeah, good little dive in from uh, React there being super aggressive. Yeah, React comes into the game averaging 17.6 points per game, eight and a half rebounds. You see on the Gladstone stat sheet, they do score a lot of points. They have three players averaging double digits. Hancock is wide open for three. That's too strong. Muster's offensive rebound puts it in. He's a big dude. And he, he was really impressive last year. You remember, he, I think he's Canadian. Yeah. Canadian Australian, so he, he is a local Gladstone player as well. Harrison spins, nice step through by Tyrell Harrison. That's the kind of footwork you like to see out of your big man. Yeah, absolutely. And again, I like that he's taking it straight to Musters. Young's going to fire a three. That's good. Taylor Young on the board, and the Gladstone Port City Power Surge are up by seven. Vines pass well behind Harrison. Well, I think he needed another dribble and then and then throw it at the backboard and uh, bottom of the backboard, and Harrison would have done what he needed to do. Just needed one more dribble to get it to go out musters. React has it now on the wing. Guarded by Barristow, goes away from the screen. Nearly loses it, recovers his shot too strong. Gets his own rebound and puts it in. He's really active on the glass. He's hurt the Pirates here. The Pirates are down nine. Yeah, done a good job early. Jake Allen driving baseline, tries to step through. Harrison's right-handed hook shot is short. Tipped around, Hancock has it now for Gladstone. There's the Allens. Tyler loses it out of bounds. I still want to take out the 900 pump fakes out of Harrison's game. You just, just catch the ball and square up. You don't have to pump fake every time. Tyler Allen gets a breather. Casey Walker comes in. Walker coming off the bench the last few games for Gladstone. He's really added a nice weapon for them off the bench. Yeah. What's it, I, I, I know you talk a lot about the bench, and you want to obviously have as much talent as you can. Well, why is it so important to bring in a player that can that can get you buckets coming off the bench? Well, if he, can, if he gets buckets, that's just a bonus. For me, for me, 
it's more around am I going to get guys in that can then continue to play, be role players. So, you know, can I get a guy that comes in and is a, a defensive pain in the ass or he comes in and gives us eight rebounds or a great defender or a shot blocker. Uh, run the floor. What a block there by Onwis. Absolutely wrecked Hancock. And Bearstow dumps off for Harrison. He tries to dunk it, but he's fouled. That's a great recovery <laughs> block by yeah. Onwis. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I think, you know, this, so that they're the bits and pieces you're after as you're building a, a program. If, if you've got a little microwave like Vinnie Johnson coming in, that's just absolutely gold. I mean, you've seen the Jamal Crawfords and the, that and the likes who comes in sixth man and the, the value of that's incredible. Marcus Smart kind of guys. But uh, I don't, to be honest, I don't think there's a great deal of them in the, in the league. Um, uh, there's obviously a lot of good fives. And then, uh, you, know, ro you know, generally six through 12 are, are development kind of guys and, and role players. Um, whereas I think, obviously, Jake Allen's a legitimate sixth man when he doesn't start. Young's three is off. Onwis gets it, and then he's fouled by Riak. Shout out to our guy, Ben Blythe. <laughs> I know he loves his hoops, Ben. Thanks for tuning in. Tendakai Machando loyal, in. Loyal, loyal listener. Loyal friend. <laughs> L listener, Johnny. <laughs> Barristow aggressive to the basket, puts it in with the left hand, cuts the parts, deficit to five. React nearly loses it, and then he does. He steps out of bounds. A couple of turnovers here for Gladstone. Coach Walmsley looking for a timeout. Didn't get it this time. He wants the next one, though. Teardrop. Nice Good teardrop there from Vines. Coach Walmsley gets his timeout as his team's lead is cut to three. We'll take a timeout as well. 16-13 power over Pirates. New QBL Game of the Week presented to you by Nothing But Net Media and Live Sport Australia. Back with you here at Hibiscus Sports Complex 1613. Good time out there from Coach Walmsley as uh, Pirates doing a bit of work, getting themselves back within three. Taking a look at the uh, box score, Gladstone doing a pretty good job at the moment. They're being led by Shakuk Riak, seven points. Yeah, we talked about it a little off air, Johnny. Um, points isn't a, isn't a problem for Gladstone. It's uh, stopping guys. React landed very awkwardly. I think they got that foul on Tendakai Machando, cutting under React. He's gonna, just going to try and walk it off. I think it, hopefully it's just a Charlie horse or something. Yeah. It'll be right. Looks like it. It definitely didn't tickle though. That's a that's a tough foul there for him. See the trainer trying to get him some ice. He's just going to try and walk it off. Troy Robinson going to check in, I think, for Riak, so he could get some treatment. Good sportsmanship too from Machando, giving him the giving him the dap. Marty Leahy checks in for the Pirates. Vines takes a breather. Young 
Pulls it back. Nice pass to Hancock, who's fouled on his way to the bucket. That was a great look there from Young. Really slick. Very, very slick. I like it. It was, it was a bit tight in the paint there as well. So a good look there by Young. I want to take this time to thank our sponsor, Australian Sports Network, live sports streaming, and graphic system as well. Australian Sports Network provides us with a lot of sports streaming support as well as all of the graphics you see throughout each and every one of our broadcasts. Can't thank uh, uh, James Bowman and the Australian Sports Network enough for all the help and uh, assistance they do for us. James Ringholt checking in for the Pirates. Tyrell Harrison getting a breather. This is our first time seeing Ringholt on the floor for the Pirates. He made his de debut for Southwest last week versus yeah. Townsville. Yeah, he's one of the, the BBC boys and uh, uh, just back from college. To the zone here from Gladstone. Machando goes right at the zone, misses. Barstow gets the offensive rebound. Fade away, bank shots off. Ringholt gets it, hits the shot, plus the foul. Junking it up a bit there, the Pirates. It worked. Yeah. Good take from Machendo and uh, Besto on the glass. Then Muddy Lay on the glass. Good, good activity from the Pirates. Yeah, and, and, that, and that's the thing, sorry, Johnny, that's the thing I think we've, we've talked a little bit about uh, since we've covered them. Some of their energy uh, and their effort's been a, a bit poor. That's when that's when they've, they've struggled at times. Um, sometimes they're dynamite and sometimes they're not. Onwes with the hammer. That was energetic, D-Love. Yeah, I like it. That's a good lead pass, too, from uh, Machando off the steal. Musters backing in against Ringhold. Hook shot is short. I don't know why he's backing away. He should just be looking to beast him up down there and take advantage of the youngster. Onwes nearly lost it. Barristow at the free throw line. Gets it back out to Machando. Now Leahy has it with six on the shot clock. Barristow has to get moving. Kicks it to Machando. Corner three is up. It's short. Leahy, though, another offensive rebound for the Pirates. Barristow's short jumper is off. Robinson... I think, I think if you took off Troy Robertson's top, he'd have Gladstone tattooed across his chest. He <laughs> is Gladstone through and through. Hancock gets an offensive rebound. They're going to get Robinson with the foul on Onwes. Jordan Lumcon checks in for Taylor Young. Onus' pass tipped out of bounds. Minute 47 to go in the game. One point lead here for Gladstone. Troy Thompson in on the floor for the Pirates as well. Gets inside, nice spin move. His lab attempt is short. Yeah, they need a little bit more penetration against this zone. They're falling in love with the passing, which is nice. Machando gets called for the foul, trying to box out Casey Walker. That's the fifth team foul. Machando's got two. I thought it was the fifth. They're going to say it's the fourth. Bumcon finds Hancock good. Pump fake. He'll fade away. Jump shot short. Musters offensive rebound. Goes right at Allen, and Allen gets called for the blocking foul. That's definitely the 15th foul, and that's the penalty. So Musters will go to the free throw line for two shots. On the season, he shoots just under 54% from the charity stripe. Finds well, in well, front of us. Well, um, Musters must have heard me on the last play because he, he did to Jake what he should have done to Ringhold the, the play before. And again, uh, you know, he's a good post target there. 
Dylan Owen going to give Matt Hancock a breather. Muster misses. The first. It's the second though, so the lead's two. Minute 25 to go now in the first quarter. Thompson's pass inside, finds Allen. Now Leahy from the corner, Good three. Pass. Good pass from uh, Jake Allen and a good look from Marty Lay. They, and they need him to be A, shooting it, and B, making it. He, uh, he struggled a little bit this year, so he just uh, needs to see the ball go down a few times. And yeah. Allen did a good job of hitting the glass too. He gets himself in great position. Well, to be, to be frank, it's, you know, he's not a tremendous athlete. Just he competes, and it's just all effort. He wants the ball better more than you do, and he's done it again. Yep, gets his own rebound and puts it back in. Lomcon hands off for Dylan Owen. Owen is going to fire a deep three. That's good. Wow. Shot that one with confidence. Yeah. Vines cannot answer. Here comes Walker. Gets inside, flips it up, and he's fouled. That one goes on Troy Thompson. His first. Casey Walker going to go to the free throw line. He's struggling here, shooting 47.6% from the free throw line. Is he, uh, do you reckon he's shooting with his eyes open? Don't know. 47. Well, let's ha have, a, have a close look for us, Dave. 47. That's rough. Uh, that one look, looked it, all right. It doesn't look like a 47% <laughs> shooter. Can we, give it, can we just tell him that best hair on the QBL? For sure. He's up there. Let's, we don't, hand out, don't, don't want to hand out the awards too early, but he's... Top three so far. Top three? All right. Well, J Jet's going to give him a run, right? Yeah, Jordair's got some pretty pretty nice locks. Adiponia's got a bit of a do. Oh, shout out to Matty Adiponia. It's his birthday today. Our boy, Matty Adiponia. Happy birthday, Matt. TT's got a do. That's called the... I think that's what my do is starting to head towards. <laughs> the Troy Thompson. Vines finds Leahy with six on the clock. Out to Ringhold. Ringhold's going to have to fire a three. It's up. It's off. Walker grabs the rebound. That's the end of the first quarter. Heading into the quarter time break. Gladstone up four. It was a pretty hot start for Gladstone. They cooled off in the middle, but they picked it back up towards the end. Yeah, they did. And, uh, you know, Pirates have got to do a better job of uh, not giving away a few cheap fouls. Um, they, they send them to the foul line a little bit too often, and they've just got to be a bit more disciplined. Well, we'll take a break. We'll come back with some statistics in the second quarter of action here in your QBL Game of the Week presented to you by Nothing But Net Media and Live Sport Australia. Back with you here on Hibiscus Sports Complex. 24-20 the lead for Gladstone over the Southwest Metro Pirates. 
really impressed uh, with both teams' action. Thought Southwest did a good job to get themselves back in after a fairly slow start, and Gladstone weathered the storm and able to maintain a slim lead heading into the second. Yeah, absolutely. Again, early early lead, um, an early lead, but it's really been a nice little arm wrestle to, to start the game. Uh, both teams getting in the flow of it. A couple of early fouls uh, for Hancock as well. Who's winning uh, the Allen battle right now? If you're Jake and Tyler's dad, who, who, you, who you going for? Well, I think Jakey's winning just. The, the individual matchup. Yeah, yeah. Tyler's team obviously in the lead. Big, big, big fan on the hoops too. Johnny, uh, Katie Blythe, she watches every week. And she just uh, said, love the call. Shout out big to Katie. Big fan, massive hoops fan. I, I, I thought Ben was the big hoops fan of the family. Obviously, I'm wrong. Yeah. Oh, and hands off for Lumcon. Musters looking to back down. Picks up his dribble, gets it out to Walker with eight on the shot clock. Stop and pop from Walker, it's good. Yeah, be better defensively from Princeton. I like that he digged down a little bit and Munster gave it up, but then he's got to rotate back to Walker. Vines wanted that three. Now Thompson has it inside. Jake Allen goes to the left hand. Hook shot is good. <laughs> Do you reckon he looked, looked for Pops and said, that one's for you? I can see a big smile on his Pops face, that's for sure. Jake Allen taking it back to the old school with the hook shot. Lumcon tried to answer, can't, but Troy Robinson comes down with it. Walker, deep three, is too strong. Then Vines knocks it out of bounds off of Musters. Good, Good job. hustle there from yeah, the Yeah, great captain. job from Vines. Thompson at the elbow. Lose it, gets it back though, out to Vines. He'll fire a three at short. Look good. Again, they, they're really struggling. They're not really presenting them presenting themselves with good options, Johnny, down this end against the zone. They're just settling for a couple of passes where they really need to get some better tempo in the swing, swing, and then some penetration against this zone. Lumcon nearly they're, stole it. They're actually one of the better teams in drawing fouls, getting to the foul line. They're, they're 14th in the league in making them for the line, but they're... they're um, to do a really good job of drawing fouls. So they just got to continue to try and get some s some simple buckets. No look pass up ahead. Owen finishes in front of Onwes. I thought we might have had another big swat, but good finish there from Dylan Owen. Allen can't finish, and Walker pulls it down for Gladstone. Walker's in a bit of trouble, finds Musters, and now Owen. Goes to that right-handed hook shot. That's way too strong. Robinson, though, a nice offensive rebound. Owen's shot is blocked. Now Onwes kicks ahead. Vines has it. Goes right at the defense. Step through is no good, but he's fouled. Yeah, great seal from Ringhole. Really good job. A lot of big guys don't do that. He had a good rim run, but then he just held his position and allowed Vinesy to sneak in behind him. Young and Allen check back in for Gladstone, Robinson, and Lumcon getting a breather. Vines going to the free throw line, and Vines traditionally one of the top free throw shooters in the comp. He's only at 58.3% from, from the free throw line on the season. Yeah, he came into the season um, with, a little, with some injuries, and he's... Still trying to struggle and, and get getting back into flow. Uh, good old Dylan Owen. He's uh, coming out launching, Johnny. Sure has. Close game, still a five-point game. About 2.50 into the second quarter. Allen's pass caught by Musters. Kicks it out. Good ball movement. Walker gets in the paint, dishes off for Young, who's fouled by Jake Allen. 
Good no look pass there from Walker to Young. Yeah, I thought Munster should have went up under the rim. He, he really d buried out some good space and uh, decided to kick it out for the three. Hancock checking back in for Owen. Really like uh, the energy and the, the the camaraderie from from Gladstone. You yeah. see everyone come on to the, when they're on the court. Everyone's giving them high fives. A lot of energy on the bench. The bench you see up every up and at them every time a good play happens. Yeah, we and I, and I said you know I noticed it in their warm up. I, I like watching their groups warm up and um, I sensed earlier they they had a good group environment which is great. Obviously up in the, the North Pool, it's a little rough up there. Just a bit. So, uh, you know, you knew they were going to be uh, a competitive group. Game certainly being played at uh, Southwest pace though. They've really kind of slowed things down and, and are grinding away here. Vines good. from the corner, it's yeah, short. Good patience. And a good shot, so you know they're, they're moving the ball well. We've, we've, we're the broken record for the Pirates this year in the couple of games we've called. They just can't make a shot. It's just really that simple when they need to. Good position by Musters, but he travels. Yeah, we had it too deep anyway. It was lights out if he didn't travel. Harrison's got to do a better job of pushing him off the block. Nice little battle down here. I want to see him dump the ball into Harrison and. Good pass from Onwes. Barstow can't finish. Princeton gets the offensive rebound, tries to dump it off to Harrison. And then Machando fouled by Tyler Allen. Second team foul on Gladstone. Four minutes into the second quarter. On oh, West. Grown man move down there. Great finish there, clearing some space and going up strong. That's, I think, you know, I, I, I want to see Pron um, On West with more possessions. He needs to get more touches. He needs to get more shots. Uh, you know, I know the, the Pirates run their flow and it's a bit of an even offense um, as far as uh, opportunities, even opportunities, but he needs the ball, plain and simple. Well, let's talk a little bit about the flow offense, Dave, because it's obviously a staple of Coach Andre Lamanis of the Brisbane Bullets. The Australian Boomers run the run the flow offense a, as well. And uh, Coach Downer, obviously, an assistant with uh, Coach Lamanis, bringing it here to the pirate ship. What are the strengths of the flow offense? And what are the keys to running it successfully? Well, I think the uh, f for me. The, the biggest challenge in the QBL environment is, you know, you, you kind of get what you get as far as the roster. And you, if you're lucky enough to get three or four or five studs, then, you know, then you're okay. Um, but then when you run out, guys have got to come in and, and, and uh, adapt to the system. And so it's a, um, you know, not complex system per se, but sometimes, but you ha you've got to have a thorough understanding. And so that's where I, th I feel in a QBL environment where you get a couple of guys that might be semi-pro level, um, the rest isn't. And so they don't have a great deal of time to sort of work on systems and on all the reads and counters and so forth. So I just think sometimes it's maybe a little too complex at times. Um, but I did talk to Steve Catlin today and uh, and, we did, uh, and I was just com commenting, saying that I think the Pirates need to play it faster, a bit more faster, a bit more freer. Uh, moving the ball up with kicker heads. Too much dribble in, in the backcourt. Pir and, and too much dribbling in general, actually. Onwes lost and recovered. Coach Walmsley is going to take a timeout. We'll keep it here, though, because I want to talk a little more about the flow offense. The flow offense, when you watch the Olympics, when Australia was making their run and looking at potentially securing their first medal, that's that's it. That's the flow offense at its peak. Yeah. Well, that, and that, and that's with you know twelve really really good players, <laughs> twelve experienced, smart veteran guys who who can run it. Um, I just think sometimes 
some of the less experienced guys struggle with some of the principles and concepts of it. But um, I just think for the Pirates, uh, again, it's around getting getting guys more shots. How do I get the Bairstows, the Vines, the Onwisses more buckets? That's really, for me, that's what they need to do. But cor correct me if I'm wrong, the flow offense is an opportunity for everyone to get looks. Yeah, it is. So it's, you just have to... But then someone's got to make a decision at the end of the day and make a read, right? And so... So they might make wrong reads and they might consistently make wrong reads and therefore then guys don't get the opportunities that they'd like. Um, as opposed to some of the more traditional sets of continuity offenses or particular plays like a UCLA where they know that I come off here and then I look for this and if they take that away, I've got this. And so it's a bit more predictable. Um, well, we, I mean, you know, we're talking Pirates here obviously for the QBL, but we saw the Bullets struggle in the flow offense no, plenty I, as well. And I think it's the same... Yeah, a little bit the same. I, I don't think uh, a lot of the guys understood all the principles and and they certainly um, struggled to execute it at times. Good rip by Walker. He's fouled by Bearstow. I know that's one of your favorite moves, Dave. Nice and simple. Catch and rip. Yeah, absolutely. Keep it simple. Cards have cut the deficit to one. And rewarded with two foul shots. He's been very aggressive, Casey Walker. Coming out of the timeout. Yeah, I mean, you talk about um, uh, equal offense. I mean, um, that's a pretty impressive spread for Gladstone. Well, Walker set averaging 17, Young 22, Hancock 14, and, and Riak 17. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, you know, they got some guys who can play. And Riak's back out on the floor. Good to see that he's all right. Going to suit back up. Onwis gets right to the bucket and lays it in. We talked about speeding it up, kick aheads, and again, Pirates, easy bucket. Walker up and under is fouled as well. I don't understand how they just got a transition opportunity out of a transition opportunity when Gids and Vines are back. Just poor communication. We talked about that a little bit with the Pirates. Um, you know, their defensive breakdowns and their communication hasn't been great all season. The fourth team foul, second one on the captain, Ryan Vines. And that was just an uh, inbounds pass right over the top. Oh, terrible. Just unforgivable, D-Trans. One shot here for Casey Walker. Walker's got seven so far tonight. Misses it. Chando kicks ahead for Onwis. There's the double team. He goes right through the double team. He's strong, Onwis. Yeah, he's done, and that's and that's what you're after. If you're a Pirate fan, you want him to be more assertive offensively. Ten points uh, so far for Onwis. That was about four feet beyond the three-point line. React cleans up the miss, though. Shakuk Riak doing a good job on the glass. He's got to have about four offensive rebounds already. Good cut by Harrison. He finishes with the right hand on a nice look from Vines. They're giving him a couple, Johnny. All right. I'm giving him at least three or four. Okay. Walker spins. Somehow winds up with Riak. Now Allen with eight on the shot clock, oh. swatted by Harrison. Onwis kicks ahead for Vines. Pirates turn it over. Walker oh. again. Great take. Right at Barristow. Really well defended, but uh, Walker just too good. Barristow. Answers on the other end. That's about his third or fourth wide open layup. Well, this is the ta this is the tempo that Gladstone like. It's 39 all. React reverse uh, layup is off. I actually think this is the tempo the Pirates should be liking. It's not necessarily pretty at the moment. As Allen finds Hancock, he wanted the foul, didn't get it. Well, he's lucky not to get a tech, really, a little pretty aggressively at the referee. I don't think they'll take that 
again if, the, if he doesn't. Three on the shot clock. Harrison's got to get the shot off. They're going to call a foul. Oh, wow. One second on the clock. On the floor. I don't know who he gave that one to. It's a 13 foul on Gladstone. I think Riak uh, picked it up. Tyler Allen gets a breather, checking in Patrick Saganovich. Waki Venus in for the Pirates, his first time on the court tonight. Steve Catlin did say uh, he was training the house down this week. He's a talent. Yeah, again, he, you know, he's got to adjust to a, a system, obviously, coming out of the Brisbane system the last couple of years, learning with, that's a foul. No basket, but React gets called for another one. What's that, his second or a third? Let's have a look. Muster's gonna check in. Yeah, must be his third. It's his third, that is React's third, so he'll be on the bench for a little bit. Two minutes to go though until halftime. Chando goes deep. Allen can't save it. Well, you'd, you'd be fuming because Venus came off and was naked. And then you'd get a turnover. That's when you see the hook come out, Johnny. Straight sub. Coach Tate's going to let Machando work it out on the court. Two-point game. Saganovich comes out firing. That's off. A lot of hands. Young gets called for the reach in. That looks like that's the fifth team foul against Gladstone as well. Jordan Lumcon going to come in. Casey Walker going to get a breather. That's Young's first personal. Chando on the season is a 46.7 free throw shooter. What's with shooting these days, Johnny? There's a lot of bad free throw shooters. I reckon people are practicing their three point shot more than their free throw. Well, that, that free throw looked pretty sweet. Got to take it back to the old form shooting, Dave. Well, that, that's. Get Lumcon's gonna fire a jump shot that's way off. Machando feeling it. Can't get the shot to fall. Here comes Gladstone on the run with Hancock. Young skips it over. Siganovich puts it on the deck. Now Lumcon with the little shake. Put left-handed shots off. I don't know if that's uh, I don't know if that's what we're after here for the the power fans. And then Onwis in transition gets fouled. Last three or four possessions for Gladstone, pretty average options. Fair enough if the clock's running down, but um, you know they need to get the ball in guys' hands. Yeah, I heard Coach Walmsley call out for Jordan. Well, well, look, Hancock's had five shots. Um, Young's only had three. Like. Uh, he had a big game yesterday, but he's averaging 22, five and five. I mean, it's, you know, it's a terrific QBL player. Onwis missed the first. Second one though is good and Pirates take the lead. It's a one point lead. Young gets inside, he's fouled on the floor. That's the 15th foul against the Pirates, so Young will go to the free throw line for a couple. I don't know what, well, I would have left him in. Need some offense. Leahy 50 coming in for Onwes. 50 seconds to go. I'm pretty sure Princeton's smart enough to Stay out of trouble for one possession. Yeah. 
Young's first ties it at 42. Second retakes the lead for Gladstone. Bairstow has it. Allen, nice catch in the paint. Well, that's a bonus. Again, better offense. You know, had, had, had um, just certainty to it. I think the guys know what they're trying to do here. And um, again, they got a good look, look for Bear and then Bear hit Allen. That's Muster's third as well. So a bit of foul trouble here for the, for the power. Allen loves to play inside, though, doesn't he? We, you see him. Yeah, yeah. A lot. Of, most of his game is in the paint. Yeah. It's interesting. You don't see a lot of guards posting up, and he, that's a post-up play for for Allen. It's yeah. Ducking. Yeah, absolutely. So he's like your 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 position, well the, he, pa the power guard. Well, he is, and he. The challenge with him, though, is often he'll um, he's not really looking to pass out of it, which is something I think he needs to add in his game because. He has good vision. I think everyone needs to just calm down. <laughs> There's eight on the clock. For halftime, Achando gets to the rim, can't finish. Tipped around, Young, now Robinson has it. He'll let the clock run out. That's going to be it for the first half of action, 45-42. Yeah, good take from Gideon. Sorry, Johnny, but uh, unluckily didn't come up with a layup, but a really nice take. What are your thoughts of the first half of action, Dave? I think the, the, the pace has been pretty frantic. Yeah, it has, and it's been a good arm wrestle, 44-43. was reflective of the score. I mean, it's a good game up and down. Both teams done some good things. And, uh, and some so not so good things. So they'll go to the sheds. Lots to chat about at halftime. think about it, yeah. All right, we'll take a break. We'll come back with the statistics in the second half of action as the Pirates lead the power 44-43 on your QBL Game of the Week presented to you by Nothing But Net Media and Live Sport Australia.
Welcome back to Hibiscus Sports Complex. It's halftime here, and it looks like they have the score finally worked out. We got it on track. The scoreboard in here was saying one thing. Our score was saying the correct thing. It's Pirates up one, 44-43 at the break. It was a really interesting first half. I think when you look at it overall, Pirates played it at their pace. This is going to be about a 90, nine, you know, uh, in the 90s, which would be quite good and quite low scoring for a Gladstone uh, team, Dave. Yeah, well, I think, as I say, that's more of a, um, a Gladstone flavor, if anything, a little slow for them. Pirates are one of the slower teams. They, they, they like to use um, a fair bit of clock in, the, in their offense. Uh, but again, it's, it's working out to be a nice little battle. Um, you have a qu quick look at the statistics, and it's um, Taylor Young leading the way for Gladstone with 11 points. But what's jumping out at you on the box score at well, the break? Yeah, really even. I mean, uh, 25 each on the rebounding, seven turnovers for Pirates, five for Gladstone. Um, you know, everything is r really, you know, tw the foul counts 12 11, so it's really similar statistics. And the Powers only had uh, two more shots. So, you know, I'm looking forward to a really close finish, a really tight finish, actually. Hey, I gotta give a couple of shout outs. Gotta give a shout out to Pirates head coach Mick Downer tuning in from China. He's keeping an eye on the boys, so thanks for tuning in, Mick. And I also wanna give a shout out to Brendan Tease, former Pirates guard down in Adelaide, tuning in. Thanks for checking in, uh, TZ. We appreciate you guys watching. Second half is underway. Leahy comes out far and it's short. And the season long struggles from beyond the arc continue for the Pirates. Yeah, the three ball has uh, has really not been nice to them this year. Good block from Harrison. Onwes was very good for the Pirates in the first half, looking to come out far and misses. Barristow, though, with a nice steal. Vines White, I thought he was going to fire. He's going to resettle. Barristow puts it on the deck, goes to the left hand and finishes. Yeah, great take. Bear's been one of their better players this year. Really consistent. I think Hancock's got to get uh, uh, got to get more involved in the offense. Young with a nice step back jumper. Team's trading buckets here to start the third. Yeah, one of seven for Hancock. Um, and as I said, we, 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 we uh, talked about our, how he smooth jump shot early in the in the warm-ups. We haven't seen it go down a, f a few um, much t tonight, but he, he you know they really need him to score. He gives them 17 a, um, a game or so. Good dish inside. Musters is fouled. I think they're going to give that one to Tyrell Harrison. They're going to give that one to Bearstow. Tyler Allen nearly loses it, recovers. There's Hancock with it now. He's going to have to fire a deep one short. Barristow with a strong rebound. Leahy drives the baseline, loses it out of bounds. They're going to say it went off for Young. So it's going to stay with the par. It's 13 seconds to go on the shot clock. Fines has it on the wing. Now Harrison over to Barstow. Barstow takes the dribble and floats one up. That rolls in and out. Harrison can't grab the rebound. It goes out of bounds off the big man. Yeah, Gladstone sticking with their zone, Johnny. And they're happy to uh, give the Pirates those shots. Young fouled hard in the air by Onwis. Going for the block. Definitely not intentional. That was a hard foul. Was Young trying to yak that? He went up strong. He looked like he was trying to get on with. Respect. Was. 
the horn set was really horribly defended and communicated. Marty Lay got hung, hung up and there was no help. Young can't hit the free throw. Second one is good though for Taylor Young. Onwest, nice pass to Barristow. Free throw line jumper, nothing but net. Tyler Allen can't get the roll. Yeah, good curl from Allen all the way to the rim. Play here at the free throw line. There you that's go. And that's that that's what you pointed out in that first I think it was actually in the women's game that that middle free yeah. throw line area. Well but and Best has a good pass, it always makes the right play. And uh, that's what that's what Lay should be doing really presenting himself to get those 10, 12 footers. He's looked off about three or four. Um, but that's, you know, that they need him. They need, Marty Lay is good for eight to 10 a game. You know, he's a, got a good body in this league. Good skill set. Talk about skill set. That was nice by Young taking it right to Harrison, absorbing the contact and finishing through it. So he'll go to the line for a three point play. Harrison gets a breather, Ringhold checks in. Yeah, a little, little unlucky. He was he was trying to get out to to uh, defend him vertically, um, but just a little bit late. Three point play is good. Scores 52-49. Pirates up by three. Onwis can't finish it. Stripped by Ringhold. Onwis recovers. Barstow's teardrop is off. I think it's going to be on Riak. Chakuk Riak picks up a foul. I think that's his fourth. Holding on to Princeton Onwis. And you see Coach Walmsley goes to the bench. Casey Walker going to check in for Riak. And Riak does have four, so he'll see. He'll take that seed for a little while. Might not see him for a little bit. Five seconds called. That's deflating if you're a Pirates fan. Yeah, really frustrating if, for uh, the coaching staff. You try and run, run it out of bounds, but then equally, you just got to get the ball in sometimes. Tyler Allen, the beneficiary. <laughs> Some sloppy rebounding from the Pirates. Pirates clinging to a one point lead. Hancock frustrated with that foul call. They're giving it, they've given Hancock a warning. I like the restraint from the referees. Could have easily tacked them up there. Yeah. We've seen techs given out for much less than that, <laughs> so. Yeah. Credit to the referees for keeping their cool as Barristow fires a jumper that's strong. Walker shoots a long one. Tyler Allen keeps it alive, goes out of bounds off of Allen's hands. Onwis has it on the block against Allen. Goes right through and plus the foul. 
just a smart play there by Onwes, recognizing he had the mismatch. No double came. Yeah, good patient uh, offense from the Pirates. You know, they had, a, again, they were looking to get something specifically, a bit of on Onwes isolation. Besto was floating around the uh, that mid-range jump shot, and then they had Vines coming off the on the weak side. So good action, setting up Onwes in the block where he can, he can certainly do some damage. He hits the three-point play. It's 15 points for Onwes. Hancock out to Allen. Hesitates now back to Matt Hancock. Pull up jumper. No, he skips it cross court. Hey. It's definitely a travel there from Musters. Took about eight steps in the block. It's a good dance move. That's like my footwork when I'm down low. That's right. I usually get away with it though, Dave, you know? Oh, Ringo's been good. He's been good today. He's uh, made some good decisions. He's competed well. Good hand on shots. Boxed out well. It's been really good for them so far. I mean, you, when you look at the stat sheet, he's not filling it up. He's doing a lot of the little things that the parts yeah. need. He'll fire a three and on, hits. On cue. Well, if Munster's going to dig down and help, then uh, that shot's going to present itself. Jake Allen gets called for the foul. That's one of the things that uh, that they talk about Ringhold. He can shoot it with consistency, but when you look at it, it's not the prettiest of jump shots. No. It's a bit of a hitch, kind of holds it quite low. But Finished up his college career at the University of Texas, San Antonio. Back home in, in Brisbane. Good to have him back playing in the QBL. Yeah, absolutely. It's good to see the young kids uh, keep, keep growing and uh, giving themselves opportunities to try and be professional athletes. Good hands from Young. Forcing Onwes into the double pump. Young's fadeaway is an air ball. Ringhold chases it down and saves it. Coach Walmsley might look for a timeout if they get a score here. The power's Lines. lost their way a little bit. Inside, Barristow's pass though, hits the back of the backboard and that's out of bounds. That's a turnover for Southwest. Dylan Owen back in. Tyler Allen getting a breather. Yeah, the Pirates are doing a good job of scrapping it uh, and, and making it ugly. Only allowed eight points so far this quarter. Deep three is missed. Hancock gets the rebound. Walker recovers along the baseline. Musters has five on the shot clock. Is stolen, though, by Vines. Kicks it ahead for Onwes. Onwes dumps it off for Bairstow to lay it in. And there's the timeout from Coach Walmsley. We'll take one as well. 2.46 to go in the third. Pirates up nine on your QBL Game of the Week presented to you by Nothing But Net Media and Live Sport Australia.
Back with you here at Hibiscus Sports Complex. It's a nine point lead for the Pirates. Done a really good job silencing the Gladstone offense. Walker goes right at on with Lab is short, scrapping for it, and Pirates come down with it. Yeah, Walker's been a little, a little selfish here at the moment. Last couple of possessions. Jake Allen Eurostep. <laughs> It's a, more, it's, a, it's a special kind of Euro when Jake pulls it off. Yeah, he, uh, and he's strong too. I mean, uh, Young did a good job of defending him and had a good piece of the ball. Young gets fouled by Troy Thompson. He's hit the deck hard a few times here, <laughs> Taylor Young. Yeah, gladstone has been a little terminal in this third quarter, so they just... It's one shot, one pass and a shot or a really quick hit um, and, and they're missing. So they've got to mix up the, uh, the offense a little bit, get it through some hands, make the Pirates move their D. I know that they um, like a quick shot, but again, they're, you know, they're not moving the ball and moving the D, which will open up opportunities for them because they've got plenty of scorers. Well, Matty Hancock just got a breather. Jordan Lumcon checks back in for Gladstone. Hancock was their, I think he's their third leading scorer. I think a fourth leading scorer coming in averaging just under 15. Taylor Young hits them both. Ringhold will fire another three, that's short. Dylan Owen grabs the rebound. Here's Young getting in the paint. Reverse layup is good. Yeah, he's been impressive tonight. A couple of really super dynamic moves. Jay Gallon hook shot off, tipped around. Allen comes down with it, throws up another hook that's off. Here comes Casey Walker with a head of steam. Kicks it out to Owen. Layup is good for Dylan Owen. The microwave. Dylan Owen coming in, giving him a good punch. Had a couple of good buckets tonight. Deficit is five for Gladstone. We're under a minute to go in the third. Give it to Ringold in the block. Left-handed hook shot is short. Casey Walker fading away, misses. Again, well defended from Ringold. Jake Whoa. Allen, double dribble. He, 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 he did, but there was a fair bit of contact in transition there. Gladstone might want to try and go two for one here. Young kicks it out to Walker, drives baseline. He's blocked, but there's contact as well. That one's going to go against Harrison. Walker going to go to the free throw line for a couple. It's a bit unlucky on the foul call. I don't think it was the arms. It must have been the body. Yeah. A few guys in the way, so I didn't see it super cleanly, but. Walker goes one of two. Subs on the floor. Lucky Venus going to check in for Tyrell Harrison. It's going to work some clock here. It's about a two-second differential between the game and the shot clock. Venus gets it to Machando. Top of the key three. In and out. 
Young has it with 5-4. His past half court gets it ahead to Jordan Lumcon. Jump shot is short. And that's the end of the third quarter. It's 62-58. Pirates with a four-point lead. Pirates winning a third quarter, something we <laughs> haven't seen them do much of this season. Yeah, but again, um, you know, they're up, they're up uh, nine, probably looking to push it ahead. And then Gladstone came back and, and again, made it ugly, which is, which, which is what they have to do right now. Um, but again, Pirates were good defensively, I think, for most of that quarter. Holding the power to 15 was a, is a good effort. Power like to score 100 a game. So uh, Pirates doing a good job of defensively making it scrappy. Um, and then just down the, down the other end, offensively, you know, themselves, they've struggled a little bit against this zone that uh, the power have sat in all, all night long. The quarter time break. We'll take a quick one. We'll come back with some stats in the final quarter of action as the Pirates lead the power 62 58 on your QBL game of the week. Presented to you by Nothing But Net Media and Live Sport Australia. Back with you here for the start of the fourth quarter. 62-58, the lead for the Pirates over the Gladstone Port City Power. Dave, see you looking at the statistics. What are you talking? Well, the biggest statistic for me is uh, Hancock and Riak have only got 13 points on five of 16, and uh, they average 31 a game. So um, combination of Pirates doing a good job and uh, Power struggling to, to get them good scoring opportunities. React, I mean, React started with, uh, I think, seven early points. So uh, he's been he's been super quiet the last half of basketball. Well, he's been in a bit of foul, foul trouble. Foul trouble, yeah. As Lomcon with a nice floater cuts the deficit to two. 62-60, Pirates lead. Finds, throws up the teardrop, it's off. Dylan Owen, I thought he was going to fire there. <laughs> Young finishes through the contact, and we're tied up at 62. See Prince and Onwes in front of us getting set to check in as Young gets a steal. Reverse layup is good. Yeah, and Gladstone Young's retakes the lead. Oh, Young's been terrific. Twenty-three points on eight shots for Young tonight, Johnny. How many times has he been to the free throw line, Dave? That's nearly impossible. No, no uh, he. Uh, <laughs> Thompson, you, you, you're killing me. He's had eleven free throws, bro. No, I, no, I'm just asking. I wasn't. I wasn't I having to believe, go at you. I can't I'm just, believe you doubt me, I, I, Dave. I would never doubt you. Jeez, I just man. wanted to see how many free throws, 20, how many points were at the yeah, free throw 10 line. Of, Ten of eleven. Onwis and Barristow check in, Venus. But uh, his penetration's been uh, been awesome so far. He's been da damaging, yeah. uh, to say the least. And he's one of the power players that has made it a point to get to the bucket. Well, the power have gone a little small here. Again, looking at, I'd be looking at almost in this post-up series that they ran, uh, which looked a bit looked looked well, uh, looked good earlier tonight. Couple of, some interesting matchups on the floor. You got Troy Thompson guarding Casey Walker. Onwis on Robinson. Lumcon trying to back it in. 
has his pass stolen. Vines will fire a three. That's good from the captain, Ryan Vines. Fouls inside against Dylan Owen. So fought, battling inside Dylan Owen trying to box out Jared Bearstow. Yeah. We had one of these last week, uh, six point swing. Big momentum swing if you can hit the three, get the foul called and then knock in another one. Talked about interesting matchups on one end. There's some tough matchups for Gladstone on this end. As he said, they're playing small. They go right to Onwis in the block. Hook shot short. It's a pretty good job there by Dylan Owen. Yeah, another turnover. And Onwis steals it right back. Yeah, Walker's, Walker's been a little inconsistent for them tonight. A little sloppy with the pill. And just some of his shots have been a bit questionable. Baristow travels. Trying to go behind the back. Got it caught up on uh, on his back. <laughs> Walker going right at Thompson, lays it in. That's a tough matchup for Troy. Yeah, he's got, he's got to do a better job of denying because once Walker gets the ball, it's pretty much going to go up. Ball knocked out of bounds off the hands of Gladstone. 66 all, 7-18 to go in the game. He is, uh, he's only, he's 4-12 for the game, Walker. Dylan Owen has it over to Walker now. He'll fire a three. That's good from Walker. It's a three-point lead. Yeah, Gladstone like, picking things up. Yeah, I'd like to see a bit more Harrison in the game. Only played 15 minutes. As you say that, he gets set to check in. Jake Allen hook shot, bounces out. And here's Taylor Young with the head of steam. Great skip pass ahead for Lumcon. And the Pirates gonna take a timeout as the Gladstone faithful rise up in the Pirate ship. Timeout on the floor, though. We'll take one as well. 71-66, Gladstone over Pirates with 6.36 to go in your QBL game of the week. Back with you here at Hibiscus Sports Complex. The pirate ship is rocking with the Gladstone power surge. Surging into the lead. They're up by five, Dave. Yeah, great couple of minutes for the power. Really uh, good defensive energy. Couple of transition buckets. Uh, and up five. Terrell Harrison back on the floor and, for the Pirates. And they've done so with Munster and Riak on the bench. Captain Vines hits a couple of big threes in this fourth quarter. Uh, um, prior to that, Johnny, they only scored four points and were down nine in this fourth. Yeah, Vines, if he could start getting some, hitting some threes, that'll open up a whole new dimension for the Pirates well, in the season. He's certainly capable of it. So, um, again, I'd just like to see the ball get through hands a bit more, a bit more ball movement and body movement. They, they're, they're a bit still.
and a lot of it, a lot of their offense at the moment is kind of hoping best that will almost does something. Harrison has it. Better work, young fella. Good pass inside on was fouled by Dylan Owen. I imagine you'll see Munster and React come in pretty quickly. Yeah, as you say, React coming in for Dylan Owen. And Vines coming out. Well, Hancock and, and, comes and, in. Uh, and Hancock's had a long time too. Um, you know, only one of eight for Hancock, the captain. Really quiet game. Onus hits the first. And the second, so we're tied again at 71. Big finish on predict predicting, Johnny. Real quiet one, a uh, real close one, sorry, I think. It's a brave call, Dave, tied up at with 71 with 5.30 <laughs> to go. <laughs> What a finish there by Young on the other end. Well, I'm just saying, Pirates had a couple of big leads and blown them. I just feel this one's going to be a little nail bottom. I agree. I agree. It's close. The team's really exchanging buckets at the moment. They get Barristow for an offensive foul. Don't know about that. Not the strongest of calls, I'll say. Yeah, Michendo is going to do a good job on Young. I, I try and deny the ball, don't let him catch it. Try and keep him out of the game and let someone else try and beat you. That's one of the strengths in Michendo's game as React fires a three. Now Onwis has it for Pirates. They wanted the back door to Allen, it wasn't there. Bear still going to fire a long two. That's good. We'll just keep going. Trading buckets here. Lumcon gets called for the travel. Vonti in for Allen. And here comes Matty Hancock in for Jordan Lumcon. If I was a Pirate fan, I'd be a bit concerned. Hancock has been quiet, which means that uh, guys like him can really want the ball here when it matters late. Onwis. Robinson gets called for the foul against Barristow. Well, just silly foul. They're only one away from the bonus now. I'd go straight back to that matchup. Robinson having a good laugh with Barristow about it. Pachando wants it inside to Barristow. Gets called for the travel. That's good help defense. Get it over to Young. Working against Machando. Machando doing a really good job denying the ball. Got a hand on it. Knocked it out of bounds. Eight seconds to go on the shot clock. React has it with four on the shot clock. Out to Walker. He's going to fire a deep three. Robinson, though, grabs the offensive rebound. Walker gets to the rim and lays it in. Good bucket. And they really needed it. Onwards hands off for Harrison who puts it down with two. 
Nice little pick and roll action there from Onwis and Harrison. Then they get Machando, little too physical on Young there. Jake Allen going to get the young assignment. Hancock gets the screen. Now over to Riak. Riak wants to back down on Bearstow. Picks up his dribble. Hancock open for three. It's wet. It's a three point lead now for Gladstone. Harrison wants it, spins baseline, flips it out to Allen. Allen now back to Harrison. Long two is an air ball, and it goes out of bounds off the Pirates. Pirates going to take a timeout. It's a good one. They're down three, 2.37 to go in the game. We'll take one as well on your QBL Game of the Week presented to you by Nothing But Net Media and Live Sport Australia. Good timeout taken there from Coach Nate Tate. Yeah, the Pirates look really frustrated and dejected after that possession, so hopefully they can bounce back here. It's only a three-point game where you got two and a half to go yeah, in plenty, the game. Plenty of time, plenty of possessions left. Just got to work hard here, communicate, get a stop. React sets the screen for Young. Young reverse layup with the left hand plus the foul. That's a, an incredible finish. Yeah, he's been he's been really good. And I feel like he went through five purple jerseys to get there. Well, that's what I was going to say. I didn't see a gap. I don't know how what he saw, but obviously it was there. He made it happen. Leads five with an opportunity to make it six with Young at the free throw line for one shot. And it does. So the lead up to six. Well, they've gone smaller here, and uh, Masters haven't, hasn't seen a great deal of action in the fourth. Um, and they're up, they're plus seven here in the fourth. Onrus misses the hook. Then Walker grabs the rebound. It was a good, strong take. Young's jump shot is short. And then... Jake Allen gets called for the foul. It's the 15th foul against the Pirates as well, under two to go. Was that, so react. Was that, was that an Allen, was it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. React at the line for a couple shots. Teams up six, make it seven. Clock starting to come into play here too, Dave. We're under two minutes to go. 
React hits them both. Allen misses. Young working the clock now out to Walker. Goes away from the React screen and nearly loses it. He recovers out to React with six on the shot clock. Three pointers off. And then they get Matt Hancock for the pushing foul. It's going to be two shots. Allen steps to the line for a couple of big free throws. I really need these to hopefully take it to a 77-83 game. Still a couple of possessions away. So, you know, the clock is starting to come become really important for the Pirates. They'll need a couple of stops consecutive here if they're going to get back in the game. Well, you're going to go to some sort of trap or pressure off of this if it makes, but he misses well, one. They just can't foul. They need to, they need to get two stops with no fouls. Here comes the trap. Young tries to split it, and then they get Leahy for the reach-in foul. That's the fifth, team, fifth foul for Marty Leahy. Oh, they called it on Princeton. Oh, they called it on Princeton. Onwis, that's his fifth. So Onwis done for the night. That's a big... Foul. Oh, <laughs> it's a, a huge foul. Yeah, I didn't see much in it, but. Young hits the free throw. That's his 32nd point, Johnny, on. 13 shots. He did have a few free throws just before you asked me again. He's but been uh, he's been fantastic. Yeah. I mean, that's been one of the best displays uh, we've seen this year. He's been really good. Efficient too. Yeah, absolutely. hasn't hasn't uh, dimed up a great deal, um, but uh, you know his leadership and his ability to penetrate. And they're going to come in and steal the win here at the pirate ship. Uh, Again, plus 11 now in the fourth quarter. Timeout taken on the floor. We'll take one as well. There's 54 seconds to go in the game. Gladstone up nine over the Pirates, 85-76 in your QBL Game of the Week presented to you by Nothing But Net Media and Live Sport Australia. Welcome back to Hibiscus Sports Complex, 85-76. Gladstone has certainly surged into this lead, Dave. It's been a tremendous fourth quarter for the Port City Power. Well, they have, and they've done it with a bit of a, with a, with a big rebounding edge, an edge, sorry, Johnny. Uh, and the Pirates only 4-13 in this fourth quarter versus Gladstone's 10-15. So, um, you know, they've just they've done a better job of uh, defending, rebounding, and then converting it down the other end. And that helps when you've got a guy like Young coming in and dropping 32 points. He's been fantastic tonight. You hear Coach Walmsley, no fouls, both teams in the penalty. And, and he's earned his money, nine, nine rebounds as well, but he's, he's got been fouled 12 times. <laughs> so he's, he's copped a bit all night long and uh, been super terrific. 
And then uh, he's got another one tomorrow against the Gold Coast to see if uh, Gladstone can, can uh, get another game. Machando misses. Riak comes up with the rebound. Walker pushing ahead, and he's fouled from behind. He's going to go against Marty Leahy. That's going to pretty much do it if he can hit these free throws, Dave. Yeah, absolutely. Parts will be disappointed in this one, but look at the opposite side. Gladstone would be ecstatic. Thir three wins in a row now for the power. Yeah. And they'll be feeling real good coming into uh, the Gold Coast tomorrow. Because Gold Coast has been a bit shaky. Yeah, Gold so Coast uh, has, hasn't been playing well at all. Uh, they got absolutely shellacked in their last two games. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they'll be definitely be looking to bounce back. But Gladstone really came into tonight super confident, Dave. They looked great, like you said, in the warm-ups. They had their ups and downs, but they righted the ship in the in the right time. They did. Twenty. No sorry, Johnny. Sorry. No, you're right. Uh, tw Twenty-nine free throws for Gladstone tonight. So, you know, you, you talk about getting a balance between threes and twos and and uh, and. Free throws, we talked a little bit about that tonight. And again, that's the balance. You got 25 points from the foul line. Yeah, and, th and that's easy points. Yeah. Whether it, whether it's getting to the free throw line from a drive or from a three-pointer, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, but I think Gladstone has done a really, really good job uh, in, in this fourth quarter. What what can you put? Can you point your finger to a certain aspect of this performance in the fourth quarter that's gotten Gladstone over the line? Well, I just think it's a um, a little bit of um, uh, obviously a bit of Gladstone, but um, with the Pirates, they had lots of good looks. They just they just missed them. Uh, you know, almost had good seals, and Harrison had good seals, and Bairstow had good good seals. Um, they just missed they just missed shots they need to start making, and uh, that's the difference. Uh, they've been right there statistically. They're right there with Gladstone all night long. If anything, I thought um, they're up nine in the third. I thought they were about to roll them. Yeah, you know, that's what it looked yeah, like. Yeah, well, that's right. And that seems to be the Pirates' mo this season. They have a few good quarters, but there's one quarter that really hurts them. Yeah. Uh, typically, throughout the season, it's been the third quarter. Tonight, it's the fourth. Yeah. When they went came into it, it with a lead. Yeah. So. Uh, I think defensively they've done a, a pretty decent job at talking Pirates, um, but offensively is what really hurt them. Yeah, well, they've allowed far too many free throws, of course, but, um, you know, to hold the power to 88 is, is pretty fair. Um, power like to get up and down. Machando fouls Young. Like, I like to see when the referee's talking to the players as well. Young wasn't sure if that one was going to fall, but it does. And they both go. So 12 points to the lead now. Gladstone going to let Southwest. Fire a three from Vines, it's short. Bearstow with an offensive rebound, putback is good. 11 seconds to go. See if Pirates foul again. Hancock in a bit of trouble. He's trapped. Pass ahead, Jake Allen steals it. Up to Leahy, he'll fire a deep two. That's an air ball. And that's it for the game, Dave. 0.7 seconds to go. Glad's thinking to pick up their third win in a row. Really impressive, 90 to 80 comeback win for the power. I was impressed by Gladstone. I wasn't really sure what to expect. I was only seen a few few of their games on high, a couple of highlights and a bit of action here and there. I thought it was going to be a little more free, free flowing. Um, Pirates did a good job to take them out of that free flowing offense. But I was impressed defensively. The zone really parts, caused the Pirates to struggle. And uh, they scored when they needed to. An impressive performance from Young. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, again, you, you know, you uh, you got to expect um, the Gladstone teams. They're battling. They're battling the big four every other week, right? So you know they're going to be okay. Um, and they just have that again, good physicality. They move the ball pretty well. They shared the love, and that was with uh, Captain Hancock having a relatively quiet game. But 
Young, Young was terrific with 35 points on 13 shots. <laughs> is uh, crazy efficient. You know, Re React was good. He was in foul trouble most of the night still. So that was, and then Munster chipped in with five uh, and they got some from Owen. Uh, and Walker was really good. Um, you know, he had a couple of shots that were a bit shaky, but uh, they certainly appreciated the 19 points he tipped in off the, off the bench. Yeah, Walker was uh, carrying them at, at certain points in yeah. the first half, especially. You look at the Pirates, they've, you know, it, it's a disappointing result. This was a winnable game for Southwest. Uh, they had the lead going into the fourth quarter, but just couldn't come away with it in the end. Yeah, they. Uh, I think they lost the second half by um, uh, 15. So um, they only scored 30 points in the second half. So um, you know, whilst there's some obviously some defensive issues, um, offensively they're getting good looks. They're just struggling to to uh, just finish that last little bit, and that must be super frustrating for the coaching staff and the players, of course. Uh, you can see how dejected they are. I mean, it was a it really was a bit of a must win for them um, to, to get them back into into the flow of winning again after getting bit, a bit beat up against Townsville last weekend. Yeah, but the Pirates will have another go of it next week. And next week, though, guys, we will we'll be bringing you a double header. The first game is next Saturday as the Logan Thunder host the Townsville Heat and the Flames. We'll also have uh, Mackay traveling down here to take on the Brisbane Spartans on the Sunday. That's going to wrap things up for us, though, here. I do have to thank again Joel Baker on the production panel, Chris Sieber on the camera. I want to thank James Bowman from the Australian Sports Network for all of his support, his graphics work, and uh, technical support. And, of course, Dave Derwin, my co-commentator. Dave, thanks again. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in to another presentation of QBL Basketball by Nothing But Net Media and Live Sport Australia.